Mother, tell your children not to look my way, not to walk my way. Oh, if you want to find hell with me. I don't know the rest of that. It's Mother's Day. Let's do brunch. The Pim's Cup. A staple of brunch. Uh, this is an English drink. It is dependent on Pim's. Pim's is a liqueur that is spiced and seasoned with a lot of different botanicals. They make actually several different bottlings, uh, but Pim's number one is the only one we get in America, and Pim's number one is based on a London dry gin. In, in the UK, you'd be able to get two through six, I think, and they're made from whiskey and rum and all kinds of different things. It's a lower alcohol by volume drink, so it's great for a brunch. It's gonna yield us something in the vein of the alcohol content of like a mimosa. And that's kind of why they're so popular. It's a refreshing drink that's got a kind of effervescence and a lemoniness to it, and a lot of fruit in it. And, and, and the presentation is a factor. In that regard, it's a little bit like a sherry cobbler because uh, how we garnish it and how we dress the glass is gonna be part of whether or not this is a successful Pim's Cup. In the UK, they would say that this is made from uh, lemonade, but apparently that kind of means like a lemon soda as opposed to what we do, which is lemon, water, and sugar. So in America, typically they use 7-Up or Sprite, something in that vein. You can do better, though, if you can get some like San Pellegrino uh, Lemonada or Fever Tree Lemon Soda, something more bitter, you know, something that's got more bite to it, not a sweet, soft drink type thing. All right, let's make this damn drink. We're gonna need um, a Collins glass. So I wanna use cracked ice for this drink and quite a fair bit of it. We're gonna build this drink bit by bit as we go. The first thing I wanna do is prep all of the ingredients that I'm going to use in this drink um, because there's a lot of food components in this. We're gonna need a strawberry. I'm gonna make some nice thin slices of strawberry. And thinness is key here because that's going to help this drink to kind of infuse in the glass as a person enjoys it, as they sip it. Next thing I'm going to do is take uh, an apple. Uh, if you have a green apple, that's good too. Any kind of an apple, really. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to eschew the knife entirely. We're just going to use this peeler to pull kind of paper-thin ribbons of apple. Okay, so I've got some apple ribbons there. Um, you just want to take a cucumber and peel a few layers off the outside, and then you get yourself your nice cucumber ribbon. It, once you get down to the seeds, the cucumber has less structure. A ribbon pulled from there won't hold itself together. So these only really kind of work from the outer part. And we need some thinly sliced lemon. So we are ready to begin building this drink. I'm gonna use my bar spoon to kind of get this into the glass. And I want to try, to the degree that I can, to get this to kind of set at an angle like that. Perfect. And then I'm just going to use the back of the bar spoon to run that along my cucumber just to kind of bruise it, I guess, very gently to kind of get it to help express and break down some of the cell walls that you've got there. Uh, of course, it decided to betray me. It's betrayed me. And then I'm going to take my apple ribbon. I'm going to try and do the same thing three lemon wheels packed against the wall. And now we've got our glass packed. The rest of this drink is pretty simple. It's gonna be one part Pim's, two parts lemon soda. So I'm gonna add two ounces of Pim's. And I'm gonna add in four ounces of my lemon soda. Uh, we can garnish this kind of to our content. So there's our Pim's cup. Uh, as you can see, it is quite the glass of fruit and vegetation. Let's see how we did on this guy. All right. 
Huh. It's so much more savory than you would expect it to be. That is slightly bitter, slightly lemony, slightly herbaceous. The Pims itself has a sort of, I mean, the Pims is an infusion of all kinds of botanicals um, and and uh, uh, I think some roots and things. There's some, some rooty flavors in there. It's a symphony and the individual instruments in it seem to disappear. It's very pleasant. It's a very light drink. It is a, I mean, this would be great with a breakfast. This is a very light, approachable, easy sipper with a very, a nice little herbaceous kind of kickback at the end of the flavor profile. It tastes sort of healthy in a way. I mean, it's not, it's an alcoholic beverage, but it has that kind of a thing to it. I don't know. I'm doing my best to glass, a spring in a glass. You know, that's kind of what I like to think of it as. No one will object to this drink. It is an easy to drink thing. If you like an unsweetened iced tea, or if you like uh, a cucumber water, uh, a mint water, I mean, any of those nice things that you get at a brunch, and I like them, I like them a lot. I love cucumber water, it's delicious. Um, you're gonna like this drink. It's that with some other herby flavors in it. Herby, herby, herbaceous, earthy kind of flavors, but very minute, it's subtle. It's subtle and pleasant in a way that just tastes nice and different. And it's like a palate cleanser. If you're gonna have this with the crab cake Benedict and a nice hash, because it's brunch, maybe you're gonna have a little a short stack of the pancakes with the blueberries, the buckwheat pancakes. Ooh, the buckwheat pancakes from Bubby's in Tribeca. The grits there at Bubby's. Oh my God, the cheddar chive grits. You're gonna have this. It's like a little palate cleanser. It's like a little thing of ginger next to your sushi. It's so good. It really is actually. That's what the drink is. It's a palate cleanser that goes with your delicious decadent brunch. To all the moms out there, to my mom, uh, happy Mother's Day. Enjoy a Pim's cup or a mimosa or whatever you wanna have on a Mother's Day or Bellini, I don't care. Have a glass of whiskey. It's Mother's Day, you know? I mean, you've been working real hard being a mom. You should have a glass of, I mean, a tall glass of whiskey. That's what I think moms should have on Mother's Day. A tall glass of whiskey. Or just a lot of vodka. Or a Pim's cup.